Hey everyone, it's uh, 20 past 9 on Friday evening and it's the 6th of March and this is just a quick little video um, regarding something that literally happened about 10 minutes ago involving the PC um, I was just sitting here minding my own business and suddenly I hear this whoosh sound so I investigate and as I get close to the top of the PC, I hear a pop and see flames and smoke. So I quickly shut down the system. My side panel needs a dust. Um, and whip that lid off. Because it was coming from up there somewhere at the front. And um, by the time I'd done that, the flames had burnt themselves out, thankfully. I think it's because some molten plastic had just dripped onto um, the metal part of the case, thankfully, so... I was glad there was sheet metal underneath this little item. But it seems... the um, speed controller for the fan... exploded, basically. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, I haven't... there is no additional fans in there. In fact, since I installed the new motherboard, on one fan less, so this is actually have you know didn't have as much of a load on it. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I haven't got my um, I/O LEDs lit up at the minute because they went through this as well. It seems so. I'm have to do something else to reconnect those. But uh, yeah, it's here. Now that bit of wire I had to cut because I cannot pull it out. But look at that, if I can get it uh, in a better light. Look at it. Right underneath where that connector is, it's just spontaneously combusted. Um, it's so bad that at the moment I cannot actually see. Yeah, there was a component there, I can see it now. There was something there. I'm just, I'm not sure what it was. Um, my guess would be it's a surface mount capacitor but I also have noticed I don't know if you can see that on camera either but there's a little electrolytic capacitor at this end which um, if it'll focus on it is a little bit warped and out of shape so I think this controller has been um, faulty for a while to be honest in fact it's never really done anything speed wise so um, I just left it on the one speed and that was it. I've never touched this. And then all of a sudden it's just gone pop. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose what I could do just to fill the hole, because I've got the whole thing out including the plastic cover. So I've now got a hole here where the switch should be. What I might do is... Uh, take the circuit board off, I'll do this tomorrow, I'm not doing it tonight and just pop this plastic frame back in there just to fill that hole um, there's, there's actually bits of soot from the molten plastic all over the top here look lovely, I'm going to have to give that a clean down now my side fan's getting a lot of dust in it I don't know how this I said side fan didn't I? side vent, not fan but I don't know how it keeps getting full of dust because there's no fan on it. It's literally in and then out and out through the top as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so, that was not very fun. And a bit scary, I have to admit. That was a little on the scary side. I just realised that they did um, glue these plugs in as well. But I managed to unplug the two, the other two easily, so... I don't think that hot glue has actually done anything. Nothing useful anyway. But there's definitely something there that has decided to let go. I don't think it's a IC of any type. I can't see enough um, contacts coming off of that, so it's most likely a... But you, it's a surface mount capacitor or something that's gone, you know, gone pop. That's certainly done some damage. Anyway, I just wanted to do that little video because uh, 
Yeah, I've never ever had anything like that happen. Uh, not as dramatic as that. I mean, it's only a little thing, but that did create quite a lot of flame and smoke. And it still smells. <laughs> Burnt electronics. Lovely. Anyway, that's all folks. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you ever had anything like this happen to you, let me know in the comments. Bye.